All right, day two of California climate. We're over here on page 245 for Palm Springs. Palm Springs in red. Find Palm Springs on the map on page 242. Okay, here it is over here. It's kind of in that yellowish pinkish area, semi-arid or desert. Notice that it is only about 100 kilometers east of Los Angeles. Okay, so it's just a little bit east of Los Angeles. However, its climate is very different. Palm Springs lies in the heart of the Sonora Desert, where the climate is very hot and very dry. So, desert, very hot, very dry. Palm Springs receives less than 15 centimeters or 6 inches of rain every year, each year, and that rain falls mostly in winter. Little rain. What makes Southeast California so dry? The mountains just to the west are part of the answer. They cool whatever moist wind blows in from the Pacific, leaving hardly any moisture for the air farther east. In fact, desert-like conditions stretch eastward across most of the Southwest United States. Okay, so mountains block moisture. Okay, we've got all along that yellow part right there is a mountain range. So all the moisture that blows in from the Pacific Ocean kind of stops in this orangish area, right? There's that Mediterranean climate. It gets blocked by those mountains, and everything over here towards Arizona and New Mexico ends up being desert. Let's see. Nevertheless, the lands near Palm Springs are especially fertile. Farms in this area are famous for dates, figs, and many other fruits and vegetables. Irrigation makes this possible. Because it is so close to Los Angeles and other large cities, Palm Springs is a popular resort. It enjoys 354 days of sunshine a year. Okay, so there are 365 days in a year. That's only 11 days that it rains. Very little rain. Popular resort. Okay, what is one reason why Santa Barbara and Palm Springs have different climates? Okay, one reason why Santa Barbara and Palm Springs have different climates is that Santa Barbara is along the coast, so temperatures are more steady, while Palm Springs is a desert inland behind mountains that block off most of the moisture. Okay, turn to page 246. Mount Shasta, Mount Shasta. In many ways, the climate of Northern California is just the opposite of the climate in the southeast part of the state. Okay, so what they're saying is the climate up here feels like the opposite over here. Okay, if this is hot and dry, then this is going to be cool and wet. One important reason is latitude. Okay, remember latitude is how far north or south you are. So Los Angeles has a very low latitude. Mount Shasta has a much higher latitude. Remember that as you move north through the United States, there's the little compass moving north, places receive less and less solar radiation throughout the year. In general, this means lower temperatures. So going all the way back to two or three lessons ago about how the Earth curves away, how the energy spreads out, and how that means that it ends up getting less solar radiation, less energy, so it ends up being darker and cooler when you get towards the poles. Okay, north latitude, arrow, less solar radiation, arrow, cooler temps. So being farther north in latitude means that there is less solar radiation or energy, and that means that it ends up having cooler temperatures. Elevation is another factor. Northern California is quite mountainous, and temperatures tend to decrease with increasing elevation. Look at that again. Temperatures tend to decrease or go down or get colder with increasing elevation as you get higher in the mountains. Mountains near the Pacific Ocean can be quite rainy too. So, high elevation, mountains. <laughs> Mount Shasta is the name of both a mountain and a nearby town. These places lie about 100 kilometers or 60 miles south of the Oregon state line. 
The region experiences long, warm summers, long, warm summer, and cold, wet winters. Cold, wet winter. Average yearly precipitation is almost 100 centimeters or 39 inches, which includes a great deal of snowfall during the winter months. Lots of rain and snow. All of this water, combined with warm but not scorching temperatures, makes Northern California ideal for growing trees. Water plus warm equals trees. Indeed, much of this part of the state is covered in forests. Some forest lands are protected, while many others are harvested for timber. The logging industry is important in this region. Okay, Northern California and the Sierra Mountains are quite rainy. Okay, we already talked about all that wet. Mount Shasta is one of the tallest mountains in California. Describe the climate of Northern California. Okay, the climate in Northern California, the north latitude, it depends on latitude and elevation. The further north you go, the cooler it gets, and the higher up in the mountains you go, the colder and wetter it gets. Okay, now, your highlighter to do the visual summary. Highlight the main idea, essential question. California has four distinct climate zones based on temperature and precipitation. So, California climate zones, four distinct ones, highlight their names, temperature, precipitation. On any given day, the weather can be very different among these zones. Climate is the long-term average weather of a region. In other words, weather can change on any given day. But climate is the description of the average over a long period of time in a large region or area. Sacramento has winters, has mild winters and warm, dry summers. Sacramento, mild winter, warm, dry summer. That means it's a Mediterranean climate. The climate of Santa Barbara includes moderate temperatures throughout the year and low precipitation. Santa Barbara, temperatures are more steady than Sacramento. That's that part about being moderate temperatures. And it's throughout the year with low precipitation. It's beautiful all year. This is Mediterranean also. So we're going to say something in our summary about how Santa Barbara also has a Mediterranean climate like Sacramento, but the temperatures are more steady, so it's beautiful all year round. Okay, Palm Springs. Flip your note page over. Palm Springs has a desert climate. Palm Springs, desert. Summers are very hot and dry. Very hot, very dry. In contrast, the climate in Northern California is much cooler and wetter. Highlight Mount Shasta. Highlight North Latitude because it's Northern California. Cooler temp for the cooler. Lots of rain and snow for the wetter. Okay, now get your red pen to annotate. This is us doing it in our brain. Read the main idea. California has several different climate zones, each having different characteristics. So we're thinking about climate zones, and we're thinking about characteristics. Okay, here we are with climate zones. And what is climate? Star. Characteristics. We always use temperature and precipitation to describe each of the regions. It has different climate zones. Four, to be exact, and we'll name those four. Okay, Sacramento has a mild winter. There's a different characteristic. It's Mediterranean. Santa Barbara is also Mediterranean, but has some differences, so we'll put a star there. Palm Springs is an example of the desert. And Mount Shasta, or the highlands. Remember in the map, they called it highlands? So, stars, and add the word highlands. It's not just Mount Shasta, it's anywhere high in the hills or high in the mountains. You get cooler temperatures because of that high elevation, that's why it's called the highlands and you get lots of rain and snow. Notice they gave us the four examples, right? Mediterranean, Sacramento, but also Santa Barbara. They did not give us an example of semi-arid. Um, Sacramento's almost getting there, 
but I would say like Wasco, Bakersfield, Modesto, all the places up and down the Central Valley, we are semi-arid. Okay, desert was Palm Springs, and Highland, their example was Mount Shasta. Okay, you're gonna go do your phase three, connecting. Right, you're connecting something in your brain to what you just learned. If you wrote it on this piece of paper, that is not what you get to use. It has to come from your brain. Something you predict or something you wonder, maybe you have new questions based on what you learned here. Phase four, the summary paragraph. All right, let's kind of talk through it. California has several different climate zones, each having different characteristics. Climate is the long-term average weather of a region. The California zones, or the zones in California, are Mediterranean, semi-arid, desert, and highland. We describe the zones based on temperature and precipitation. Places like Sacramento in the Central Valley have a Mediterranean climate with a mild winter and a warm, dry summer. Places like Santa Barbara along the coast also have a Mediterranean climate, but tend to have a more steady temperature, so they are beautiful all year. Palm Springs has a desert climate, so it's very hot and dry. And the California highlands are high in elevation, so they're colder and have a lot more rain and snow. Okay, there's an example of how you might walk your way through the summary paragraph. Now guess what? If you go use the text-to-speech feature in Google Documents, and you sit here and talk like I just did, it will type most of it for you. Then all you have to do is go back and revise and edit. So if you talk in complete sentences and it records it for you, all you have to do is revise and edit it. You won't have to type the entire thing. Okay. Good job persevering. Good job having a growth mindset. Roar, Wildcats.